star scorecards the series 5.9 a is the cheat code so this cheat code 5.9 a b and c all work together uh we're almost done with the series there's only we're only going to go to 5.10 so it's kind of cool all of these teaks all of these cheat codes are about can you understand graphs and tables dot plots do you understand how to how to read data from a type of table or from a chart okay so you're going to read the data understand it and then use the data apply the data uh through mathematical problems so what kind of vocab do you need data well data is just a collection of facts or numbers uh, maybe votes or measurements, observations, etc. Any time that you can just quantify something and then put it together in a table or a chart. So this is a bar graph. Bar graph is going to have, you know, titles of, of different values. And then uh, you're going to have two different variables, a variable on the x-axis and then a variable on the y-axis. A bar graph is going to show that, that data in a picture form. Okay, similar to a bar graph, a dot plot or a line plot, it's the same thing. Dot plots use dots and line plots use X's, okay? But you're going to have, it's a graphical display of data using dots on, a, on top of a number line. So we have a number line, one, two, three, four, you know, whatever. Or maybe dot plots using like the time of day. So instead of numbers, they have times. And then each dot represents the frequency on that number, right? So zero is way more frequent. Minutes to eat breakfast. So all of these people, they don't eat breakfast. Zero minutes, so that means they don't eat breakfast. Two people eat breakfast in one minute. What do you, maybe they're eating a Pop-Tart, I don't know. Uh, five minutes, there's, you know. So dot plots and bar graphs are really good for visually seeing something very fast, okay? A scatter plot and a stem and leaf plot. So a scatter plot, again, it shows your two variables. You're along your x-axis and your y-axis. So here's people's weight. Look, as they gain weight, what do they do? They get taller. You see, so scatter plots are good for, for general visualizations. Here's a pattern, right? That, that seems like a pretty loose pattern, but we can draw a line through the middle of it. Oh, as you get, as you weigh more, you also get taller. Makes sense. Stim and leaf plot. You will have absolutely at least one question on about stim and leaf plots. Uh, from on, on your star test a table where each data value is split into the stem that's usually going to be the tens place okay uh and then the leaf which is usually the ones value look at 15 16 21 23 23 26 26 so we have two 23s and two 26s here so this is just a list of numbers okay notice here's our stem so 15 and 16. 15, 16. How many numbers were in the teens? Oh, two. Two data entries were in the teens. 15, 16. Okay. The stem, uh, right here, the tens place. Sometimes you can do it as the hundreds place, but generally for your star test, it's going to be tens place and ones place. Okay. 21, 23, 23, 26, 26. So there's five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, that are all in the 20s from our data set. One, two, three, four, five. There's two 23s and two 26s. What's cool about the stem and leaf plot is just like the just like the scatter plot, the bar graph, all of these are for visual representation of data. We can just look at, oh, you know, here it comes in. Oh, there's more 20s than any other number, right? That's pretty cool. And so this is just showing you this circle, this highlighted 32. Notice 32, 32, okay? So a stem and leaf plot, pretty cool. If you have any questions, give me a call and let's go over this specifically one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Table one, we're gonna do one question and then save the rest for, for the next video. Table one shows the number of people who went to a movie each night for four nights, okay? So I'm sorry this is a very full screen, but here is the data. Here's the table, okay? One, night one, night two, night three, night four. Which graph represents the data in the table? So this is A, B, C, and D, okay? 
Night one has 75 people. Night two is 200, three, 125, four, 175. So here's our X value and our Y value. Remember, all of these graphs compare two different values. They, they represent two values simultaneously. So night one, okay, so 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. So we can go halfway, and that's 25, 75, 125, 175. We see how we can add integers. When you take your test, you have to write on your test. Write on your test. <laughs> so let's look at this. Night one is in between 50 and 100. That is 75. That's accurate. That's check. Night two is 200. All the way to this line. Night two is 200. Oh, perfect. Night three, 100. It's in between 100 and 150. So that is 125. Night three, check, okay? And then look, night four is 175, 50, 100, 150, one set, one, right? Here we go, 175. A is correct. A is our answer. We didn't even look at the others, but let's go through it just in case. Night one shows us at 175. That's wrong. That's okay. So B is wrong. This is pretty cool. I want to show you guys something. Here's the legend. Each person, right, each stick figure represents 25 people. Okay. Now, look at this. If you have, right, each person represents 50 people. These are two different that values, right? So you have to be careful. They're not the same. So if each person is one and a half, that's 75. Okay. What about 250? So 50, 100, 150, 200. Okay, that's correct. 50, 100, 150. Oh, that's incorrect. So D is not right. Um, 25, 50, 75. Perfect. 25, 50, 75, 100. Oh, number two is 200, night two. So this is wrong. Our answer is A. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. 5.9a is and b c is all about graphs and data understanding visualizing and then and then using that data so see you next time